can you explain to everyone what treasure hunting in, in the difficulties looks like? Yeah, uh, Gary taught me this um, 40 years ago. We used it in our counseling ministry with, with uh, individuals and couples. Treasure hunting, you never treasure hunt an experience <clears throat> while you're going through it. You have to wait until it's behind you. But treasure hunting is looking at the, at see, whenever there's trauma in our life, it produces diamonds, but those diamonds are hidden in the rubble of the trauma. And so we've ministered to people who had had past experiences that were horrible, that you just think, how could God let that happen to them? And so we dig through the rubble. We show you how to do that. And when you dig through the rubble, you find these giant diamonds. And all of a sudden, you can, from your heart, thank God for that trauma. You don't thank him for the evil, but you thank him for the diamonds that were created in your life because of that. And it changes how a, view, a person views God. It changes their heart from a heart that has some buried regret, anger, resentment, and turns it into a heart of gratefulness. And gratefulness is the fertile soil that happiness grows in. Without gratefulness, you can't be happy. Without gratefulness to God, you can't please God. And so we, want, we all want to move into this beautiful, intimate relationship with God, but we need a heart of gratefulness and treasure hunting shows us how to do that. So we've treasure hunted, hunted with people who were terribly abused, and I've treasure hunted with parents who have lost children. We don't ever treasure hunt the death, but what we treasure hunt are the diamonds. We, we find diamonds that have resulted. For example, when you lose a child, it's the worst pain in the world. There, there is no greater um, level of grief. We have a whole chapter on grief, by the way. And when you look back, you find out, oh my gosh, I became more in, empathetic to people who have lost loved ones. I've become more compassionate. Uh, I know the hurt that other people go through when they have a hurt like this. And nobody else knows that hurt, but I know it. So I can be a counselor and a minister to those people. And you find these huge diamonds that you have that other people don't have because your trauma was personal. Joseph found those. That's why he could thank God. That's why he had his faith in God's sovereignty. We have another chapter called The Big Flip. And The Big Flip is how God takes even the absolute worst things in our life, the things that even had evil intent behind them. I have people, a few people that really hate me and they've done terrible evil things toward me. And yet God has flipped that for his glory and for the betterment of the kingdom of God uh, in my life. So I'm, I, I don't, I, people say, man, I can't believe what that person did to you or those people did to you. And I say, man, I'm grateful because look at the treasures I've found uh, through, through what they did.